All right. We are on example, no, we're on page 12 polynomials. We're looking at the last example. It wants me to find a fourth degree polynomial, and it gives me a with real coefficients whose zeros are. So it gives me the zeros, negative 2, 3, and 1 minus i. Now, the zeros are like the k's, mm -hmm. okay? So if I were to plug in like f of negative 2, that would equal 0, right? Mm -hmm. So remember how uh, it would say like f of k equals 0? So each one of these are your k's, all right? So x minus k is a factor, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's a factor that goes with this? x plus 2. x plus 2 is a factor. Sweet. Are you seeing where the factor yes. came from? All right, where's, what's the next factor? x minus 3. X minus 3 is the next factor. Now, this next one gets a little confusing, but we can do it. And then X minus in parentheses. Yes, you have to use your parentheses. X minus 1 minus I. And then the fourth one, wouldn't that be X minus in parentheses 1 plus I? Well, why do I have to use a fourth one? Uh, because every imaginary one has a... Comes in pairs. Yeah, they come, they come in pairs. pairs. Of conjugates, right? Mm -hmm. So what would it be? It would be 1 plus I. Okay, so yes. since it only gave me one of them, it figures I'm smart enough to figure out what the other one is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I am. Yeah. So this next one is x minus, in parentheses, 1 plus i. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to come up with the fourth degree polynomial that works. It's not good enough just to plug this in. Okay. Even though you could just do it, it's not good enough. We're going to actually come up with it because it says this polynomial has to have real coefficients. Okay? Mm -hmm. Which means basically our eyes are going to end up going away. We're going to put our eyes out again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing a box. We're going to do box multiplication with these two and then with these two. Okay. Okay, so let's do this first one with this x plus 2, x minus 3. You could do FOIL if you wanted. That's fine. Um, x2, x minus 3. And this becomes x squared. This is minus 3x. This is 2x. This is negative 6. So I should end up with x squared minus x minus 6. Is that what y'all got on that one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do something funky to do this one, so just be ready. So hang on okay. for a second. Okay. Okay. Can I erase what I have so far? Yes. So I can redo that so you can see what we need to do with it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're going to kind of rewrite this. We're going to write it to look like x minus 1 plus i that's just taking this subtraction here and distributing it. And we're going to do it for the other one, which is x minus 1 minus i. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to rewrite that. You're going to love this. We're going to write it as x minus 1 plus i. And then we're going to write it as x minus 1 in parentheses minus i. Now that should look somewhat similar to a plus b times a minus b. Mm -hmm. My a being the x minus 1, my b being the i. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's in the form of a plus b, a minus b. So I can write it as a squared minus b squared. Uh, cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Now that's algebra. So we can write it as x minus 1 quantity squared minus i squared. Now you are going to want to remember this. Because you have to know that little trick and rearrangement in order to get this right the next time. Okay? So, now is this going to be x squared minus 1? No, it's not. We're going to rewrite it out as x minus 1 times x minus 1, right? Mm -hmm. And then minus, what is i squared? 1. Negative 1. Negative, Negative 1. 1. So, so I'll minus, one. so it's going to end up being plus 1 at the end. Okay? So let's go ahead and multiply this out. Do you remember when we squared those binomials, what we did? It was mm -hmm. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. What's mm -hmm. a squared here? x squared. Okay, 2ab would be minus, minus 2x. 2x and then plus 1, plus one. and then plus 1. Mm -hmm. So let's get all that together. x squared minus 2x plus 2. Okay, so there is what you get when you, can, when you multiply the two imaginary factors. Mm -hmm. So far so good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have our imaginary factors multiplied out. We have our real factors multiplied out. still not a fourth degree. No, we have to multiply those together. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use one more box to do it. Okay. It's involved, but it's excellent. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So on the top, I'm going to write the x squared uh, minus 2x and then plus 2. And this is going to end up being a what? 3 by 3? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you recall, what did we get? x squared minus x and minus 6 on the other one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sweetness. Okay. So I'll let you get your 3 by 3 set up. And then we're just going to multiply. Now, I really like this. You just have to make sure you have filled in every single box, and then we're going to add like terms. Okay? You can do distributing if you want, but I always end up dropping something, so this just makes it easy. All right, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, and I'm just going to work down. Negative x times x squared is negative x cubed, and negative 6 times x squared is negative 6x six squared. Okay. Next one, x squared times negative 2x is negative 2x cubed. Negative x times negative 2x is uh, positive 2x squared. And y'all just check my math, make sure I'm right. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, negative 6 times that would, negative 2x would be give me 12x. Yep. Last column. This is 2x squared. This is negative 2x. And this is negative 12. Mm -hmm. Now we're fortunate enough to have all the pieces, the square, the linear, the constant, the square, the linear, the constant. So on my diagonals, I will have my like terms. So my final answer. Woohoo! F of x is going to equal x to the fourth. Let's see. Negative x cubed and that gives me minus 3x cubed. Negative positive, negative 6, positive 2, positive 2. So minus 2x squared. Mm -hmm. uh, this here gives me plus 10x and then minus 12. And how does that look? Very cool. All right, so one thing you could do to check is you could plot this puppy in your y equals, okay? Then you could hit your trace key. And how many times is it gonna cross the x-axis? Four. No. Five. How many times, how many real zeros two. did we have? Oh, two. two. So it's only gonna cross the x-axis twice. You won't be able to see the other ones because it's imaginary, mm -hmm. right? But you, it'll still have a change in concavity somewhere else. And where that action's going on is where those conjugates are located. Mm -hmm. All right, so when you hit your trace key, uh, where are your zeros going to be? Well, it gave me my zero at negative 2 and 3, right? Mm -hmm. So when I trace and it says x equals negative 2, well, hey, it's going to cross the x-axis right there at negative 2, 0. It's also going to cross at 3, 0. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here is your fourth degree. Now, when they say real coefficients, when they say with real coefficients, remember how we had all those factors listed out? We couldn't leave it that way because there were those imaginary numbers in there. When you multiply them out, remember how we had to get this one? We did the real times the reals, mm -hmm. and we did up here the imaginary times the imaginary. You always want to handle it that way. Okay. Okay, because it's the easiest way. Okay, do all your do your imaginary pairs together so you can get it into the a square minus b square thing. Okay. All right. All right, you can pop that off.